Today I'm going to show you a cost saving alternative that will save you up to $70 on the original PVC Christmas tree that I've made. This tutorial is simply a part 2, so make sure to watch the original so you know how to make your own PVC Christmas tree. The link to that video is in the description of this one. So let's get started. This video is the part two to our amazing PVC Christmas tree tutorial. This video is gonna show you a cost saving tip that will save you up to $70 from the original video. To see how I made this, there's gonna be a drop down right over here. Click that drop down link and go see how I made it so you can make it yourself. This is the part two, so watch that one first, then come back here to get this amazing money saving tip. So let's get started. In the original video, we needed a PEX clamp tool, and this tool can run upwards of $60. With this new method, we don't need this tool, nor do we need clamps. The clamps, you need a two per tree. So let's show you the alternative. This is called push to connect coupling piece, and it is only a little over $8. You only need one of these per tree, and you eliminate the need for the tool or the clamps. Combined, it'll save you about $70. All right, to continue, remember, we need three cross connectors that are gonna go into the PEX pipe before we seal it. So grab your half inch PEX pipe, put your three cross connectors in, and then loop it around like this. Remember, this is a 10 foot section and we're using the entire section. In the previous video, I showed you how when we put this together, we had to put two clamps and then use the clamp tool to close everything off, no longer. Look at this push to connect. This is super simple. All we're doing is pushing it inside like that, and then grabbing our other end, turning it just like this. And then you push it in really good, nice and tight. And once you're done pushing it, you cannot take this apart. It is solid in there. It is good to go. And that just saved us $70 overall because you don't need the tool or you don't need the clamps. Look at that. And now we can continue with the tree. Another question that was asked is how many strands can be connected together? As you know, I mentioned that you can make these PVC trees with seven to eight boxes. Each box contains 100 lights. I only use LED lights, so all of these trees are connected to one another. So there's about 48 boxes or 4,800 lights all connected together and we only have one extension cord. LED can have a lot of strands connected and the lights that I use, you can connect 35, even 40 strands together. So if your fuse is blowing after connecting five or six, it's most likely because you're using incandescent lights. Those lights are being phased out across the country and many big box stores don't even carry them anymore. So I would definitely recommend using LED lights and LED lights alone. Several of you also asked me why we even need these PVC legs. They range in size from four to six inches. The answer is simple. We wanna keep the lights off of the ground from possibly being inundated with water or melting snow. We get mild winters here and snow isn't a big factor, but we do get a lot of rain. So that just elevates it off the ground and it keeps it dry. Also, if you live in an area that it's hard, rocky soil, or you wanna place them on your driveway or somewhere where there's concrete, you don't want the lights to be directly underneath here because it might break them. Um, so this is just an extra step. You don't have to do it, but I just think it's a good safety step. Another question you may have is what does it cost? Let's break it down very simply. The actual frame, the only the PVC frame, if you build that, it's about $28, but there's a caveat. If you include the red electrical tape, that'll add a few dollars. And if you don't have screws, because we do need quite a few screws here, then that would add a few more dollars as well. So without the screws, without the red electrical tape, it's about $28. With the screws and the electrical tape, if you buy them at the store, it's about $35. Also, if you have Christmas lights, then you don't have to spend money on that. All these Christmas lights were purchased a year ago, so all I really spent was $28 
per PVC tree. I had the tools, I had the electrical tape, I had the screws, and I had the lights. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask me for help. I'm always responding in the comments. So if you have a question, a suggestion, I would love to hear it. Just leave me a comment below or head to my DIY Facebook page. You can find it at Isaac Alexander DIY on Facebook. And last but not least, so many people have been asking me about my giant mushrooms. I made those. It's a DIY tutorial on how to make giant mushrooms. It was made for Halloween, but it can be used at any season. I'm probably going to keep them out all year long. So I'm going to try to do a drop down as well over here for the tutorial for the mushrooms or you can just go down my page until you find the giant mushroom tutorials. As always, thank you for watching and Merry Christmas.